I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Camp Tracy Boy Scout Camp here in Mill Creek Canyon. But it's not just for Boy Scouts anymore. Up here I've been fishing, shooting arrows, and rifling. It's been a blast. These traditional scout activities are staples at camps like Tracy, but with the exodus from scouting by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, are there even enough youngsters to fill these camps? More than you might think, according to scout officials. At Cluso and other members of Troop 1262 are among the 21,000 boys and girls who have enjoyed the council's 16 camps that remained open despite the pandemic. And to fill any voids, the camps are available for rent by other groups, most recently by Mill Creek City's vibrant Venture Outdoors program. It's about getting families in the outdoors, letting them experience nature and have see the wonderful amenities that are here at this camp. Amy started Venture Outdoors 10 years ago as a series of outdoor festivals, classic car shows, and Friday night movies in Mill Creek City parks. This year it expanded to weekend adventures, including overnight camping at Camp Tracy. We saw the flyer and it looked like a ton of fun activities, archery, knot tying, all of leather stamping. Sounded super fun, some things we've never tried before and seemed like a good place to try. The Averett family is setting up for an end of summer preschool camp out. Well, it's sort of the last hurrah for the season. Um, Things have been kind of hectic, so when we had the opportunity to come up here, we thought, let's check it out. And for mom, the Venture Camp has a special appeal. And they're making food for us. <laughs> no cooking this weekend. No huh? cooking. Daughter Ren can't wait to get at all the varied activities around camp. I want to have a lot of fun during it and um, hopefully learn some new things. And apparently the fun isn't just for the kids. Well, we like to get outside as much as we can, so being able to do it so close has been nice. And with school starting, it was kind of a nice way to come up and spend a weekend uh, without having to travel too far. Camp Tracy is only a few minutes away from their home in the city, but it's far enough. They bring their iPods and their screens with them? No, no iPads, no phones, no tablets. <laughs> That's the best part. That's the best part, yeah. I think they just love being outside, you know, being in nature, they get to run around. Uh, yeah, it's fun to hang out together. The Whitty girls are getting some together time at the handicraft venue, while Dad and Maddie are hooking up at the trout pond. You got a jumper. Way to go, Pippa. Do you have any nets? I can grab it, it's fine. Oh. Okay, Pippa, no, no, Pippa, hold trap. this up. You gotta hold it, Pippa. The Bailey and DeWall girls try their hands at archery with varied success. It's my first time and it was really fun and I got four out of five. Oh. Yes, I got... You were trying. <laughs> well, I sort of suck at it, but I got three out of my five arrows on. <laughs> then they head to the Gaga Pit. So many things to try. We have shelter building, nine square, rock climbing, slack lines, just so many different funs. We have even mud pie making. That's a different thing that most people don't do at camp, but we thought we should add that. Despite the loss of most LDS scouts, officials say the program will survive. And because of non-scout groups like Venture Outdoors, its camps have, quote, never seen so much use. On a personal note, Camp Tracy, or the Wigwam as we called it, was our second family home. My grandpa Charlie Price was resident ranger here for some 30 years, and I spent a lot of time while growing up. Restein at your leisure with this week's Where To Adventure at Camp Tracy.